Hi everyone, today I have a video for you on the brand new USDA plant hardiness zone map, which was released November 15th, 2023. Some very interesting changes that um, are gonna affect some people a lot and then others it's gonna stay the same for. But nevertheless, it's a great tool for gardeners and researchers, um, but as gardeners, I want you all to be successful in your gardening venture and the map, the hardiness zone map is really an important tool to help you be successful. So in this video, I want to talk about why it's such a great tool. And then we're going to talk about the changes. So I'm here in Clearwater and I first want to say Clearwater, Florida, that I'm in front of this beautiful mural of flowers. So I thought this would be a really fun place to do today's video on. The end of the video, we're going to span the whole thing because it's really stunning. And I also want to give credit to the artist. So we'll do that at the end. So the United States Department of Agriculture put out a new map. And so we were going by the previous planting zone hardiness map, um, which was from 2012. So now the new one, 2023, um, I'm gonna just talk about first why it's so important, how they create the map, and then again, the changes. So why are plant hardiness zones so important? And that's because um, for your plant, shrub, trees success, you will want to look at the tag or the marker, the information that comes with your plant, and it will tell you what zones your plant will thrive and survive in. So that can tell you if it is a perennial or if it's going to be an annual in your area, um, and if it's hardy, and that it has the best chance of success. So on our videos, we do try to put that up. We had a viewer that suggested that when we talk about plants that we put that information up. And I think it was a great suggestion because it really helps all of us. So the map is divided into 13 zones. Um, and that is one of the changes we're gonna talk about later. So 13 zones and each zone is divided into two zones. So for example, we have zone one to 13, and then we have 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. So one, zone one is up in Alaska and zone 13 is in Puerto Rico. So I'm going to be talking about um, Fahrenheit temperatures here. <laughs> For all of you at home following along. So the, the sub temperatures, the split zones are actually going to vary within that zone zero to five degrees Fahrenheit. So that A and B for each zone is going to var vary from zero to five degrees Fahrenheit. Really interesting stuff, right? So now the zones will tell you the average minimum winter temperature. So it's an average. That is really the key word. It doesn't tell you the absolute coldest that it gets. So you still have to pay attention to your temperatures. But the average temps, the low temps in the winter are tracked over about 30 years. So this new hardiness zone map has been tracked for temps from 20 20 back to 1991 and like I said it was just released um, November 15th 2023 so let's talk about some more of the changes because as I said I'm a gardener mainly in Connecticut and previously my zone was 6a and now we are 6b so some of us um, will have a change in our zone in our planting zone and others will stay the same. So make sure you check out the map. The website is super easy, user, user friendly, and I think you'll find a lot of good information on there. So like I said, some warmer temps have been tracked. 
So I also am gardening a little bit in Florida. When I started gardening down here, the planting zone was 9B, and now it is 10A. And Florida, in fact, is one of those interesting states that have some changes because before they had a little more of uh, planting zone eight, and now we're only seeing this in the northern part of Florida. So another important change in the new map is that there are two additional planting zones. So previously we had zones one through 11. Um, now we have additional zones of 12 and 13. So that's pretty interesting. So these changes for us gardeners, it's not going to happen overnight. And some of you have already noticed some differences in gardening um, over you know, previous years, the climate changing and what works and what doesn't. And um, I think there's nothing really to be alarmed about. I think the fantastic thing about this map that I really love is that the research is so much more accurate. So I know there's a lot of people out there that are wor worrying about climate change and warming temperatures, and I really can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is that there are many more weather stations that are tracking, have been tracking the weather, and there's much more accuracy and even detail in the map, which is really exciting. So will we see some changes in our plants? We may have been already and not even knowing it. I suspect that we're gonna possibly in some areas get an extended growing season. We may see some things growing that we haven't before. So I think it's gonna be really exciting for all of us. So last but not least, I just want to show you the mural, which I think is stunning and colorful and floral. And I also wanna give credit to the artist down here. So I want to thank all of you for joining me today and subscribing to our channel. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We have a lot more gardening videos coming your way. And of course, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and tap like.